In this video, we're going to see what the maximum possible vehicle damage in the game is. So let's get right into it. The first source of vehicle damage is Hitman Services. You can get up to 15% vehicle damage from here. Then you have Family Businesses which can have the same effect as increasing 15% vehicle damage if you max out the damage investments in all 6 of their families. However, since they're shown separately in reports, I'll be ignoring them for this video. Then there's the crew rank feature which gives you 15% more vehicle damage. Then there are emblems. As usual, we'll be using the storm emblems that give you 1% more vehicle damage each. And since these emblems can only be equipped on the legendary set, that means we cannot equip them on our godfather's equipment. So we'll only be using 6 of these emblems instead of 7. So that means we'll get a total of 6% more vehicle damage from them. However, if we add the 20% emblem buff that we get from Hitman Services, that 6% will go up to 7.2%. Then you have clan investments that can give you 10% more vehicle damage. You have vigilante passive skills that can give you up to 35% more vehicle damage. I'll leave a list of all the vigilantes that give you passive vehicle damage on the screen. Then there are vigilante active skills. For this, you'll be using Maxed Out Seba along with either Maxed Patrick or Maxed Douglas. This is because Seba gives you 30% more vehicle damage, while Patrick and Douglas both give you 25%. So in total, you'll be able to get up to 55% vehicle damage from Vigilante Active Skills. Then you have Babes. Babes can give you up to 135% more vehicle damage in the game. Then there are medallions. As usual, medallions give you 1%. However, since you can have up to 2 medallions equipped at a time, that means you can get up to 2% more vehicle damage from medallions. And finally, there is the vigilante training room which can give you up to 30% more vehicle damage in the game. So in total, you can get up to 304.2% vehicle damage currently in the game. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. You can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.